Hello my friends, today we're back in Luminar Neo and uh, in today's tutorial we will make another preset. It's going to be this modern black, uh, modern black preset. It's been very very popular on Instagram so I figure I will show you how to do it. It's very very easy to do, just follow along and we'll just get started. We will be working with this image over here. How do we create such a black preset? Well, we go to Edit, go to Tools, and the first thing we want to do and to develop, we want to add some contrast. For this one, I added about 25 contrast. I want to take down the highlights, and I'll go pretty aggressive with this, around negative 70, negative 71, that is good. I also want to darken the shadows, so I will go around negative 50 with this one. For the whites, I will take those down as well, around negative 30, 32 is good, and the blacks the same thing, around negative 30. Great. Now we're looking a lot darker image. Let's see so far, this is the before, this is the after. I do want to add even more contrast, and for that I'll make two points over here on my curve. And I do want to bring down the whites to fade them out a little bit. And then I'll bring up the highlights a little bit and bring down the shadows. And that will give us even more contrast. Now into the saturation and vibrance. I will increase the vibrance by 32. I always prefer to use vibrance because it protects the skin tones. And uh, I will take down the sat saturation to negative 20. There we go. Now that is looking good so far. This is the before, this is the after. Let's see. Next we will work with color and this is where we're gonna desaturate a whole bunch of colors. As usual we'll start with the hue and for the hue I want to take the oranges more onto the reds and not too much, maybe just around negative 15. And then I will take the blues a little bit into cyan, so just around negative six. That looks good. The biggest part of our edit is happening here in saturation. I will increase the red saturation just a little bit to plus four, because that's where our skin tones are, together with oranges. Our oranges, the skin, it looks a little bit too saturated, so I will bring it down to negative 17. That's looking good. I will desaturate the yellows, uh, greens, cyans, and blues, but not completely. I will go negative 90 on yellow. I see a lot of people always going to negative 100, but uh, the problem with that, then you just end up with a gray image. So you want to leave a little bit of color. And we have a lot of yellow onto the foliage, so I'll go to negative 90. For the greens, I'll go again with negative 90 something like that. For the cyan, I will go negative 80 because I do want to keep a little bit of that bluish tone, something like that. For the blue, negative 80 again. And let's see, purple and magenta, I never liked them on my images, so I'll just go negative 100 on those. Great, this is our before, this is our after so far. Now we have to move into luminance. For the luminance, since our orange tones are our skin tones, we want to brighten our skin, so we'll go to plus 30 on the oranges. Cyan, I will go to plus 35 because a lot of the sky is going to be into the cyan and we want to brighten it so we don't end up with an underexposed image. And the blues, I will also increase it to around, you know, plus 50. 53, there you go, we'll go with that. The last thing to do is toning, and I'm not going to do much with this one. I just want to add the slightest tint of blue into the shadows so they don't look too black. You don't have to do this if you like your shadows to be very black. I like to have a little bit of color on it. So amount at 100%, make sure shadow is selected. Saturation at 100% so you see what color you work with. And for the blue tone, I usually like to go around 220. 220 and then we'll take the saturation just to 5. 
so it's barely there but it is a little bit of blue undertone and i think that gives a little bit more pleasing um you know look to it and let's see our image this is the before this is the after now we need to save this as a preset so i will click save as preset and i'm going to name this modern black Great, click enter to accept the name. And now let's see if it works on other images. I will start with, uh, let's see. I think it's going to look good on this image. Yep, that one looks great. I am going to do on this one, it has some golds into it. And if you remember, we kept the oranges. So if you wanna know what this preset does, it kind of desaturates the cool tones, turns them into black but it does keep the warm tones. Let's see how it looks on this one. That one looks awesome. Let's see, maybe we'll do this one. So far it's looking good. I'm curious how it's gonna do with skin tones because that's always where I find presets are slacking is on the skin tones. So let's try this one. Skin tones look good. Let's do one more skin tone. Maybe this one. And you know what? I can just do, let's see. How about I'll, to see them all so I don't have to go through every one of these images. I will click on this image, right click on it, go to adjustment, copy adjustments, Command A to select all these images, right click on it, adjustments, paste adjustments, and now all these images will have the same preset. And let's see how they all changed. There you go, you'll see them. They're changing into the preset. Oh, I like this one, that one looks nice. Let's see this one when it changes. There you go, that one looks good too. This one looks really nice with the trees. This one, oh, that one looks good too. I really like the motorcycle one. This one looks almost black and white, but it's pretty nice. It's, it keeps the skin tone. And there you go. This is our modern black preset. Um, it's not for everybody. If you like this kind of style, then here it is for you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I'll see you in my next video.